Hi everyone, I'm Qing Wang from Tsinghua University. Today I will introduce our work, Concordia Distributed Shared Memory with In-Network Cache Coherence. This is a joint work with my colleagues Yu Yu, Erci, Junru, Yu Ming, and Professor Ji Wu Shu. Distributed Shared Memory received considerable attention at the end of last century, since it can provide a unified memory space easily programming for distributed applications. However, classic DSM ran to its course due to unsatisfying performance on top of low-speed network. Recently, with the emerging fast network stacks such as RDMA and DVDK, DSM becomes popular again. Modern DSM supports new applications such as LTP and graph computation. For example, Microsoft has built an RDMA-based DSM named Farm. Even with fast network, caching is a must to boost the performance of DSM. This is because compared with the network, the local memory has, has much higher bandwidth and much lower latency. When different servers host the same cache blocks, we must to keep them coherent to offer stronger consistency for other applications. However, Traditional coherence protocols such as direct base and snooping protocols are slow, since they need expensive distributed coordination between servers. We evaluate again a state-of-the-art RDMA-based DSM. The picture on the bottom as on the bottom right shows the results. When servers start to share data, the throughput degrees significantly, and the pack the number of packets across the network increases dramatically. Emerging programmable switches allow users to define network protocols while programming much action pipelines. In this work, we argue that using programmable switches to handle cache coherence is promising. First, a programmable switch is a centralized hub for inter server communication and can handle several billions of packets per second. So we can leverage the switch to multicast the invalidation message of cache coherence. Second, the programmable switches have untrue memory that can store the metadata of cache, block, cache copies. Third, the, unco the untrue memory supports the atomic read modified write. So we can design in, in switch locks to serialize conflicting requests. There are three challenges to design fast cache coherence protocol using programmable switches. First, the expressive power of the programmable switches is limited. All procedures must to must to be represented as match action, match action tables, and the processing pipeline must meet the hardware resource and the timing requirements of switch ethics. However, the cache coherence is complex. So how do we map a coherence logical to a switch pipelines? Second, the capacity of switch memory is only about 10 megabytes and uh, cannot store the metadata of all cache line blocks. So how do we manage the coherence of large amounts of data? Third, packet loss is inevitable, but when the switch is stayed for, how to enforce exactly one semantics? Next, we will first introduce our proposed DSM, Concordia, and then show some results, and finally give a summary and a conclusion. Con Concordia is a use-level rack-scale DSM. The, the, fi the figure on the right shows its architecture, which mainly consists of a set of memory nodes and a top-of-rack switch. Each memory node it divides its, its DRAM into two parts, a global memory and a and a local cache, the global memory from all memory nodes constitutes a unified memory space, and application threads interact with the local cache wirelessly readable read and read read and read interface. The switch routes normal routes normal packets and accelerates cache coherence. Next, we will describe three key designs of Concordia, each of which, if, each of which addresses a challenge mentioned before. Concordia introduces an in-network coherence protocol. It is a write invalidate protocol. In the programmable switch, we store the cache block metadata, which, in, which 
which includes the status and the share list of the cache block. Moreover, the switch maintains a read-writer lock for each cache line block to serialize conflicting requests and multicast those requests. Here, we show the process of our coherence protocol by an example, as shown in this figure. Node 1, 2, and 3 host the cache block A. When node, when node A, when node 1 issue a issue write to the cache block A, it generates a cache coherence request to the switch. The switch acquires the, the write lock, fetches the metadata of cache block A, and then multicasts the request to node 2 and 3 according to the value of metadata. Upon receiving the request, request the node 2 and node 3 invalidate their, their local, local cache copies and send X to the node 1. On receiving, on receiving all X, node 1 send an, send an asynchronous, asynchronous unlock request to the switch. The unlock request con contains the new version of metadata. The, sw the, switch, the switch installs the new metadata and release, releases the lock. Overall, this cache coherence request is pro processed in, in a only one round trip, and due to precise in-network multicast, the network traffic is minimized. To address the problem of limited memory, limited switch memory, Concordia only let the switch manage coherence of active cache blocks via an ownership migration. For a cache block, its ownership refers to the right to manage its coherence. Specifically, if a cache block triggers a loss of invalidations, we migrate its ownership from the servers to the switch. In contrast, if a cache block is inactive, we migrate, we migrate its ownership from the switch to servers. To handle packet loss, we make all operations, both in servers and switches, idempotent. On suspecting a lost request while timeout, the application thread retransmits it. To realize idempotent servers operations, we assign a unique sequence number for each request and the servers record sequence, sequence, num, sequence, sequence numbers of executed requests to fill out duplicated requests. To realize idempotent switch operations, for each application thread, the switch records whether it hosts logs to annoy dead log and repeated unlock. Due to time limit, we omit the other design and implementation details. If you are interested, please check out our paper. Next, we show some experimental results. We use eight servers which are connected via a barefoot programmable switch. We compiled with two open source RDMA based DSMs, Grappa and GAM. Grappa does not use caching, GAM uses caching with a directory based coherence. We also evaluate a Concordia based where servers manage coherence of all cache blocks. We evaluate a Concordia by a set of micro benchmarks and applications. We first, con we first conduct micro, micro benchmarks. We launch four application threads per node. Those threads uh, issue risk and rise to the global memory. Here we vary the we vary the sharing ratio, which means the probability of accessing to shared data. As shown in this fig in this figure, when when con when coherence traffic is considerable, co Concordia outperformance gains by four. 4.4 times due to our due to our efficient in-network cache coherence compared with Concordia base, Concordia boosts the performance by 1.5 times. We also collect the number of packets received and sent by servers. As shown in the figure on the right, 
Concordia effectively reduces network traffic by offloading multicast and concurrency control to the switch. To demonstrate Concordia's practical benefits, we also built three applications on it. The first is K-Value Store in the YSSB like workloads, Concordia outperformance the second fattest systems by up to 2.6 times. The second application is transaction processing. We run TBCC workloads. Concordia has two times higher throughput and a much lower abort rate. The third application is graph computation. Concordia reduces the runtime of page rank by 2.3 times. To sum up, Concordia supports various applications and up and put it and boosts their performance. Finally, I give a brief summary and a conclusion. Cache coherence is slow in modern DSM due to expensive coordination. In this paper, we argue that using programmable switches can mitigate coherence overhead, and we build Concordia with three techniques. Evaluation shows that Concordia outperformance a state of the arts and can underpin various applications. Thank you for your listening.